Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and the cheapest coins anywhere, make sure you guys check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be going over what to do first in the most feared promo. Now I don't give a shout out to Brett Rogers for being a part of the Nodi Gang. If you guys have a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid, make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, turn notification bell on, and comment down below Nodi Gang. Now I don't do this with every promo. But when there's a promo like this, where there's a lot of stuff to do, a lot of free players to get, a lot of stuff to explore, I like to give you guys a little guide. So with that, I want to go over what you guys can do first, maybe what I think you guys should really try to attack first in this promo, because there's a lot of different things you potentially do, uh, and a lot of it does come down to what are you trying to accomplish, are there some 92 overall players you maybe want to go ahead and grab up, or just kind of what are you trying to do with this promo? But let's get into it. So the first thing that I'm going to mention about this promo, and of course this is optional, which is why I'm kind of just going to throw it in here at the beginning, uh, is to actually take a look at these special offers that are in the store right here. And again, obviously you know you have to spend money. So this one is definitely optional, especially if you're no money spent, you're not going to do this. But these special offers that you get, check out this morning's video, they're actually pretty good. The first pack I think is like 200 points. The second pack though I remember is six most feared packs for 900 points one most feared pack usually costs 600 points so that's great great value and then the third pack that i bought was 2000 points and it gave you three 90 plus overall players so i actually pulled 92 overall derrick henry out of it for 2000 points wasn't bad this one right here 3600 points for a 92 though i honestly i'm kind of on the fence about it i don't even know it's really worth it that's why i didn't buy it but this is just kind of optional i actually think that the first three kind of worth it so take a look but after that the very first thing you guys definitely want to do is gonna be attacking these most feared solos now you do have to get 60 stars to obtain an ncat 90 overall hero now i am gonna have a video out next going over my personal opinion of the best free 90 overalls to pick from make sure you guys go and check that video out but there are some pretty decent 90 overalls that you can kind of get right now and use for your team and then also kind of have later on in the year as well. So I do think that it is worth it to go ahead and do these solos. Now, not only do you get that, but you do get these 81 plus overall players. Uh, you actually get three of those packs. You also get some coins in there. And then you do get these strategy cards, which are not going to help you in head to head, but they will help you a lot in the solo. So that is big because like the scary speed, one I think gives you like plus 10 speed to your players. It doesn't make them shorter, but it's just all about the speed. So that's going to help you get through all the solo challenges really, really a lot to, to get plus 10 speed to all your players. That is pretty big. So once you complete all the challenges, you do unlock the ultiverse of terror where there are a ton of free players you could potentially get uh, you get a fantasy pack for release one you get a fantasy pack for release two you get a fantasy pack for release three so i really really stay on top of that now of course i haven't gone through and played in the solos yet so i can't showcase that but i can show you screenshots so these are the milestone rewards you guys get once you complete all of these challenges here you unlock the next batch of solos the ultiverse of terror at 40 stars in there you get 40k coins which is a lot of coins i'm definitely gonna make sure to knock all these out and no money spent uh 80 stars you get 281 pluses and then at 120 stars do get that 90 overall or 85 plus which could end up being 90 overall could be a 92 could be whatever uh, could be an ltd so that's really really big you definitely want to make sure you guys get that done and then stay on top of it as well you can't go ahead and complete any more of these i don't believe until you know the next batch is actually out uh, but then you will get you know 10k coins more 81 pluses uh, another 90 overall ncat or 85 plus overall when release 2 does come out which i don't know when it's coming out and then also uh, you do get one for release 3 as well so I would definitely make sure you guys go into the solo challenges and knock those out. But another big thing you do not want to kind of just skip out on, because here's the thing, right? We don't actually know 
when the next season is going to come yet. Uh, I am max my level over here, but over on the No Money Spent account, I'm only level 43, I want to say. So this is actually really big for me and also really for you guys if you do not already have like your George Kittle. If you're not max my level 50, you really want to pay attention to these most feared objectives because number one, you get a lot of XP, 58,000 XP and 35K, and you only have until November 4th to have complete these, but you also need to get two free 90 overall auctionable two free 90 overall auctionables which you also could just use in sets to get 92 overall players if you want to do that because doing that is not a bad option you know you get the power up you get the 92 and then you get the three ncats so this is really key now you will knock some of these objectives out just from playing the solo challenges but then you do need to complete some of these sets and i'll kind of go over some sets i think you should do as well now for these other ones here just pass for yards you know win 15 games with at least 15 passing attempts each game that one there you kind of have to pay attention to but like passing for yards offense sacks you'll probably complete some of these when you're just getting done with some of the most feared solos now this one right here like score four touchdowns in a single game complete most feared sets 15 times like yeah you're gonna have to pay attention to one of those uh those ones that are you know pretty specific also these head-to-head -head games score 50 touchdowns and head-to-head which uh you can see right here you can play much champion seasons or you can play draft ranked now this one right here scored 2k points in house rules i have not gone through and played any house rules yet let me know down below if anyone has played through the house rules does it count for your head-to-head -head games i feel like it would i feel like it should so let me know down below but the score 2k points in house rules they already did say there's gonna be a special house rules coming out that pretty much gives you a lot of points for like every td maybe it's gonna be like 20 30 points whatever for tds or like pretty much doing anything so that one you don't really have to worry about that right now you're gonna be able to get that done pretty quickly whenever that drops oh, in terms of what sets should you guys actually do to get those objectives done just really quickly for the set ones well you just want to do the easiest one which is definitely going to be either the most feared elite where you exchange 280 to 82 overalls and then 675 to 79 now if you happen to have those in your item minor you can definitely do it i'll do one of these packs here just to kind of showcase exactly what i am able to get so i'll put in devin bush right there and uh, Keanu Neal. Now, in terms of, you know, are you gonna make profit off doing this set? Maybe. Maybe you will, because you gotta think about, right, all these gold cards you're putting in, probably like 9,000 coins worth, and then the, the elites as well. So you're spending about like, I don't know, 25K, maybe a little bit more than that to get an 81 plus overall most fear player. So it's gotta be a decent pull. It's gotta be a decent pull, which we get 83 overall Mike Hughes right there, right? So did I make coins? definitely not doing that one now you can do this one which is just going to give you a guaranteed 81 but you need to put in 278 to 79 overall most feards and then 375 to 79 overall golds so it's up to you do you want to risk it trying to make a little bit of coins or do you pretty much want to just about break even i think doing this set you're going to lose a little bit of coins every single time but you have a bigger risk doing the other set but these are pretty easy sets to do doesn't cost that much and of course as i mentioned with house rules guys there is a house rules event currently in the game so it is out of options you can only call each play two times before you have to wait to use it again uh, and you have a cooldown for five plays now, the thing is though with these head-to-head -head games number one i think it's just kind of like nice to play them because it, it's sort of fresh right it's something fun to do and you actually get some more rewards as well. You get some decent rewards. Three wins, you get 81 plus. Nine wins, another 81 plus. At six wins, you get 5k coins. 12 wins, 5k coins. But then you also get another NCAT or an 85 plus overall most feared player at 15 wins. So if you want to do it, you can. 18 wins, 10k coins. 10k, 10k, another 81 plus right there. Uh, and then if you go on here, 30 wins, you get another 85 plus. So just something kind of fresh to do. Also, you know, you can play them count towards your objective list if you're gonna do that try to knock these out it'll be fun but that's really the order i would do all that in and then the final thing would be to go ahead and take a look at the yard objectives now of course this is uh more for you guys that do like to play the yard a lot which honestly i like to play the yard i think it's kind of fun to play the yard uh, i really just play for fun but if you do this like you might just play the yard and get it just by playing now you do have to go ahead and actually have uh, the most feared helmet equipped which i'll show you guys how to get that but if you exchange four most feared objective pass collectibles you get your choice of a 90 overall ncat uh one of four auctionable boneyard uniforms and a collectible that at the end of most feared so after the final release you get a 90 overall auctionable one so 
two more 90s, one auctional, one NCAT. And of course, you need 500 plus passing yards, sack the quarterback five times, lateral 15 times, and get three pick sixes. Now, the pick six is honestly maybe the hardest thing to do. Uh, I mean, I've played the yard, I get pick sixes. I also think that I have a pretty decent user. So if you have a pretty decent user, you could probably get pick sixes. Now, some of you guys may not even know about this. Uh, the actual store for the yard, you guys have to come out here to the main menu. If you've never played the yard, maybe you don't know about this here. But if you come over to feature, go down to limited time deals, and you come into here, this is actually how you're going to be able to go ahead and get that most feared helmet. Now, you can see right here, it is a 1,000 points or 50,000 cred. Now, you do get cred from playing the yard. You also get cred from just playing, like, mutt. You guys see, I have 76,000 cred. Maybe you can't see it because my face game's covering it, but I have 76,000 cred. I haven't really played much yard this year. So if you've just played Mutt, you probably have a lot of cred and you can go ahead and get this right here, get that most feared helmet. And then all you wanna do is you wanna come over to your guy and just equip it on him. So if we back out of here, we head into the yard, you can equip it. That is really what I would personally go for first, kind of the order I would do things in and really take a look at the objective list as you're playing through some of the most feared solos. I haven't had a chance to go through and even play any of them. So if there are any solos that are even like half game solos, right? Take a look at the objective list and maybe try to knock out like one of the things we kind of have to pay attention to do. So like score four passing touchdowns, whatever. So with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like video and of course hit that sub button down below. And I guess the final thing as well that i will let you guys know is if you want to it does tend to be like this day one usually for the first couple hours now i have not had a chance to really try many of these packs i will be doing a pack opening tomorrow but like day one these packs tend to be pretty good the re-rolls tend to be pretty good as you get a 78 or we get 81 overall right there so that's 160 training for an 81 overall so we lost training on that pack right there because it does go ahead and cost 425 but re-rolls, like, the first couple of days of a promo, and specifically, I would say, like, day one, that's going to be pretty good. We get 87 overall Josh Allen right there, 1,500 training, so we just made everything back. Hope you guys enjoy. See you guys next time.